did not choose me because my personality stuck out like a sore thumb. And they're good enough to know what would work for their organization and what wouldn't. Because they were going to send me to Japan and like I was going to go there for like six months to like learn the language and get involved in the Uniqlo way of life because, you know, they brainwash you. And so I was really glad I was not selected ultimately. I was devastated at the time, completely devastated. I wanted this job so badly. And I was so glad they passed on me because during the final interview, um, there, the COO, this short Japanese guy came out and then he had a um, interpreter and she was this like tall Japanese woman and she was laughing when I was talking because I was just cracking jokes and doing what I do and she was just like she couldn't even translate all the way for him because she was just like laughing she's like what the hell she probably was like this is so absurd like what the hell am I gonna tell the COO what the heck this girl is saying and because my strength is my personality and if you're strong the personality side of things recruiting is literally the perfect thing because if you have a strong personality people connect with it and you have a lot of hospitality background like me I was like bartending the whole time this is the easiest pathway to wealth right? It's so simple because it's a sales job. So again, just because I picked recruiting and not really picked recruiting, recruiting picked me because I was rejected from the retail thing. I was lucky that the recruiting company picked me and was like, hey, you know what? You don't know this yet, but you are going to do well in sales. And because of that one decision and life just comes down to those one or two decisions, that decision changed the trajectory of my life, changed everything, changed the complete game. Because year one, I made $87,000. That's more than double what I was promised at Uniqlo. That kind of F you money in terms of doubling a potential salary, I mean, that's invaluable because the marginal difference that that created for me led to so much compound returns, right? If you start off with $1, your compound result is very little, like you can only invest 50 cents. If you start off with $2, you can invest $1, right? I got to invest a total, you know, doubling of what I was initially promised. And then the second year in recruiting, I made over $130,000, which is more than triple what I was promised. And trust me, if I stayed at that Uniqlo job, my base salary probably would have been net around 50 55 so again we're talking about more than double almost triple what I could have earned so this is the value of opportunity cost every time you're doing a career that isn't suitable for you you are dipping into your own opportunity cost that's stopping you from the real thing that can really change your life in a tangible meaningful way where you're happy you're excited you love what you do you excel at it and you're making bank Right. So again, this goes both ways to anyone tuning in is recruiting the path for you. Think about it. If it is the path for you, you better work your butt off and you better make something of yourself because this is not a game.